Um, well, we finished our uh, fence um, for the most part. I'm going to put stringers across this part right here. Show you. Eventually, put some stringers across there. I didn't want to waste more fencing to go up here because I still need to build another one of these to go around the rabbit hutches. And Liberty can't get over that. So I'm just going to put some stringers there so she doesn't bend that. But good and solid. Worked out real good. Um, so now the garden is liberty safe. However, Gravy 111 was ever so happy to point out that I can still get in. So the, the garden is still not safe. So anyways, what we're gonna do is we've got our scraps from building the fence. We have yellowtail tuna in the house. We gotta get rid of these scraps. So we're gonna smoke some yellowtail tuna. All right, so uh, I'm going to pause it right there. Let me collect up. Actually, keep the camera going. I'm going to start this off grid just for the hell of it. Let me get some tinder. We've got these. I'm going to chop them down a little bit. Uh, it's still kind of dry. This one's a little more dead. Uh, except, I always forget there's a lot of thorns on those, so screw that. What is it going here? Yeah. Okay, that should be enough for a base. We built a fire. Are we cooking dinosaurs? No, it's not cooking dinosaurs. We built a fire down in here. Set these that up. Kind of break it. I mean, I'm not showing you guys any rocket science here. The more you break it up, the more surface area, the quicker it is to get a fire going. So you're just gonna get that like so. That should give us a decent little bed. I'm gonna put this on top of here so that we have a, get out of here. So that we get a little bit more airflow. You guys have seen me use this before. Um, now what I'm gonna do, get out of there, just chop up a little bit of Kindling basically. And I'm just going to use, uh, start with just some uh, uh, move. Little pieces like this. Liberty! As Liberty steals them all from me. So I'm going to do up a whole bunch of these and uh, we'll be back with you here in just a few. Um, basically, I just made your basic kindling. All the wood that we got here, everything from real small stuff, you know, that she didn't steal. We're chasing around the yard getting this stuff. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. Um, show my buddy here that I can actually start a fire off here in. Uh, this is my EDC bag. Liberty, leave it alone. This is nothing but cotton balls soaked with alcohol. And then, of course, your ever so famous and useful barrel rod. And we're going to get her going. So now we got that grass in there from, from before. Now we're going to get some little twigs. I want to see if we can get it with just this. Put a few of these in there. Really dry wood, so it should go pretty quick. We don't want to put too much. Liberty, go. You're not going to like this here in a second. Let's throw a couple of these in there underneath the wood. And then, just for the heck of it, a couple on top just to get her going. And then we'll see if we can get it rocking. Um, this one hasn't been used that much. If you guys know anything about ferro rods, they work better the more you use them. Because you get this outer coating off of them. See, we're using it a little bit. I'm uh, showing here. And there it goes. All right, so we're lit. And uh, now we're just going to kind of gently feed this with little stuff to get it going. Gonna spread that out, get that 
dead grass and weeds and that stuff rocking. I know for most of you this is very amateurish or not amateurish but uh, known known stuff you know you, you already know how to do this but you know there are a lot of people out there that don't so the tinder I prefer to carry with me wherever I go is cotton balls soaked in alcohol I also have a big jar that I keep in my uh, bug out bag a uh, big quart jar where I save um, uh, dryer lint and uh, you know stuff like that for the same purpose and dryer lint is of course free as you can hear in the background <laughs> so I think you can see we've got the wood going I'm going to show the fire in there Liberty fit. the wood's starting to catch so we have an established fire I'll bring you guys back here in a few when uh, this is really blazing and then uh, we're going to take it down the coals and then we're going to fence scrap smoke yellowtail tuna <laughs> still going alright guys talk to you in a bit alright guys um, I think your fingers are in the way alright guys uh, I think we got a good bed of coals we'll come check this out Show them what it looks like inside. Everybody, you can bring it out. There's all the wood we put in there. That should be good enough to get her started. Once I pour that, let's step back. Once I pour that in the uh, fire tray of the smoker, then we're going to get another fire going so we have more coals to add if we need it. We do have some uh, hickory uh, little pieces and water over here, and uh, that's the fish. Yum. Got my. Uh, Typical rub on there. Let's see if we can make a transfer without too much uh, paintage. First, I'll get this off of here. Give you that in a second. You will burn your face. Wouldn't do it. Wouldn't be prudent. Liberty. All right. So let's see if we can make this work. Move, Liberty. I'm going to burn you. <laughs> that was not the intention, but <laughs> looks like it worked. <laughs> Liberty, get. Alright, so now we got some decent coals down there. We are going to need more, but that's going to get it going. So now we're going to put the uh, water tray in. The purpose of the water tray for you that don't do a lot of smoking of foods is since you're on such a low heat, oh, it's hot down there. Um, you don't want your meat to dry out. And always don't ever try and put a water bowl in here with water already in it. You will put your fire out, I guarantee it. So we got that. As the heat evaporates, it's going to come up through your meat. And then we're going to put this on there. I forgot this is very hot. And then we're going to close her up. And looks like you stepped on the thermometer, so now I don't have a thermometer. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe we can... No, it's completely broken. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go by we'll go by experience now, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna get another fire started and uh, get some more coals going because we're gonna need more than that. We're we'll back in a little yes. bit. Okay, well we got a good hot fire in there. We're gonna go ahead and throw on some soaked uh, uh, hickory chips. I'm gonna throw a few of those in there. We don't want too much that we put out the fire and we want to maintain so that we can continue adding to the fire as it goes. That was really warm. Now, we can go ahead and throw on some fish. All I did with this is this is my typical rub that I use on chicken, ribs, um, whatever. Everybody, you're going to burn yourself. Get out of there. All right, so 
Let's toss this stuff on there. <clears throat> this is not anything fancy. You are going to regret that you're doing that. But it's also something I've never done. I've never smoked fish. So we shall see. So it's been sitting with the uh, rub on it for several hours. There we go. Let's toss the lid back on her. And uh, we did find another thermometer. This one only goes up to 220, but we don't want it to get that high anyways. Let me drop that down in there. And let's see where we're going here. We got more coals going um, because we're prepared. <laughs> so we're jumping up there. So with that, check out the smoke. Uh, nice hickory fancy keep liberty out of the garden smell we'll see how it works out back in a little bit just a quick note we're running at about optimal temperature right now with some nice smoke coming out of it it starts to cool down we have more coals going on over there ah, first time I've done it smoked anything over raw wood so we'll see catch y'all in a bit all right y'all fish is almost done yet we still have heat so we're gonna go ahead and make some creamy chicken flavored noodles and sauce over that so what the hell so we're just gonna throw this is the other grill that goes in that throw that right on top of there and then I've already pre-prepared the uh, water, butter, and milk in here. Throw that right on there. Ow, that's hot. And put the lid on it. That'll get it to boiling temp a lot quicker, obviously. I'm not saying anything you all don't already know. Uh, fish, fish is looking good. Let's check it out. We're running at about 190 right now. Uh, we've averaged a temp of probably about 180, 190. And that's what we're looking at. Mm. Looks tasty. Okay, so with that, we're going to get this uh, noodles going. And uh, probably film when I take this off. If not, you'll see us at the dinner table tasting it. See you guys. All right, y'all. And now, the final product. Um, let's get my wife a little piece there. Which one do you want, baby? Move the noodles over a little bit. Put that one. D. I want this fat one and the smoke. And the smoked one. All right, you guys can serve your own damn noodles. I ain't doing it at all. Let's start with this one. So it comes out. Let me help you there. Maybe a little much help. I might try. That's <laughs> really good. What's that? Really good. Tell the camera, don't tell me. Watch really good. <laughs> no noodles. Good. This is my first time trying to smoke fish, guys, and we did it using fence. <laughs> uh, garden fencing leftovers with some hickory chips. Um, see how it came out. Actually, you know, I was a little concerned it'd be a little too overdone. I'm a sashimi lover, so I'm very temperamental on it being overdone. Is it still somewhat moist, you guys? What would you say? There you go. Fence post, red tail, no, yellow tail tuna. Thank you, Sturgeon Master. Sturgeon Master is the guy that gave me this uh, fish. And uh, thank you, Dee, for helping me with the uh, fence. And uh, you're, I'm still curious to see what this filming is going to look like. <laughs> it's delicious. Why not? Well, that's all that matters. You all take it easy. Have a good evening.
Talk to you later. All right, y'all. Fish is almost done. Figured, you know what? We still have this heat. Let's make. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh, you have to show that. That will be edited out. <laughs> I know. I'll show a lot of this. Yeah, it's edited out. Felt like we were gonna make. Back up, because you're getting the cord on the thing. Back up. Oh. We need to train <laughs> my cameraman. Maybe you know of a school, let me know. And if you can finance it. <laughs> okay, so as I was saying, fish is almost done. Figured we still have heat in the coals. So we're going to make some uh, crippin'. Crippin'? Oh. <laughs> Your dog's still on the cord, man. Pull the cord towards you so you get slack. Alright, let's do it. There you go. Alright. <laughs>